no sports on this weekend, we've got you covered. I know everything about film. I've seen over 240 of them. Time now for Sports Nightly Flicks Picks. And action! All right, let's. Uh, what have we been? What have we been watching? What do we want to see? Ben, lead us off. Yeah, I've been cranking away on that uh, Netflix show, Outer Banks. Just starting to get good. Um, interesting storyline. Basically, teenagers searching for uh, for an old ship, shipwreck, and looking for some treasure. So, uh, not bad. Not a bad show. I've been actually uh, watching some Master Chef. I uh, it really inspires me to cook, and it's. It's funny when Gordon Ramsay just gets after these people for uh, <laughs> for not making uh, very good very good dishes or meals. So I've been liking that, and I've also been ingesting a ton of old YouTube baseball clips. Like uh, I just watched a, a series on the Yankees that was an hour long. I'm just going to watch old and, and and learn about just old baseball eras and players and stuff on YouTube. So that's what I've been cranking away at. Cool, Austin. Yeah, I've still been going on Brooklyn Nine Nine. Still loving it. Still a you fantastic like it? show. Oh yes, it's fantastic. Who are your favorite characters in that thing? I mean, how can you not love Detective Jake Peralta? He appeals yeah. to a little bit more of my <laughs> immature side, and I, I don't know. <laughs> Captain Holt's kind of funny. I love their interactions. Boyle kind of drives me up a wall, but Hitchcock yeah. and Scully. Come on, Hitchcock yeah. and Scully. <laughs> they're, they're fun. Yeah. I can deal with them in doses, <laughs> not not all episode. <laughs> yeah, they're better as minor characters. Well. Speaking of sitcoms, uh, my wife had never watched How I Met Your Mother, so we've started oh. into that, which Good. is is great. Unfortunately, so she uh, didn't watch it while it was out. She happened to catch the uh, season or series finale, oh. like the oh, episode. No. Oh, God. And so she has all this time. Like I've, ever since we've been together, I've wanted to watch it, and she's like, "No, it's it's a terrible show." I'm like, "No, it isn't. You just have to <laughs> forget about that last episode. Just put that out of your mind." But that's yeah. like that's like st that's like seeing who wins in Survivor and then walk going back and watching the first episode. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Who's so. your favorite character in that one? Barney. Um, <laughs> obviously. That? Barney. Yeah. 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 Mar I, I mean, I, Marshall. I, Marshall's pretty fantastic too. I, I was gonna say Marshall's probably at the t Marshall and Barney are probably right up at the top. Robin's pretty good too, but yeah, yeah. I, I there's a lot of good characters in that one. Very good. All right, uh, last week I was kind of fishing around on Netflix, and I found a movie called The Score. It was from 2001. What a great cast. Robert De Niro was the lead, but Marlon Brando, this was yeah. one of the last movies he made. He passed away in 2004. And Ed Norton Ed was Norton. in this. It was, it was pretty good. If you kind of like movies that have a little twist, it's about a guy who's a jewelry thief. And uh, if, you have, if you like some twists and turns, it would you, you'd be worth your time to go back and watch it. In, in college, I was on a huge Edward Norton kick for like a month and watched all of his movies <laughs> in a month, and the score was one of them. That was back when Netflix mailed you the DVDs. Oh, wow. Wow. So, yeah, it's called Dating The Score. There. It is on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also still not finished with the Roosevelt documentary on PBS that Ken Burns produced. I'm on Episode 5. They're two hours long, so I'm, ep I'm almost through Episode 5. There's seven episodes. I think I'll finish that off maybe here in the next week. All right, those are our Flix picks for the week.